through painting, Julia Lambright, orphaned as a child in Russia, reconnects to her past. It's my personal expression of who I am today. What is going on in my mind, how words affect me as an individual, and how I can share my vision to someone else and find this connection through the visual language. After living here for a few years, I was in need for spiritual revelations. I go back to Russia to learn the principles foundation of iconography because through the church and through the icons, I felt I can find connection. My childhood was not like probably every other childhood. I grew up in an orphanage. Uh, I don't have any photographs. I don't have any objects or any kind of artifacts from my past. I only rely on my memories as an artist today to put things together in my multi-layering process of painting. I really use my instinct because I have no facts, no data. My first icon I ever worked with was an image of mother and child, Virgin Mary and baby Christ. Through this imagery, I learn patience. I learn about my naive hopes from a past. I learn about perfection. I learn about love. And love particularly important for me because there is something about this connection between mother and child I didn't experience. I uh, experienced it myself when I was growing up as a child and it's allowed me to think about how I can transform the visual language of abstraction in my contemporary work that would still echo some of the elements and principles of icon constructions, but it will be done in more fluid, fun way without canons and restrictions. My art is puzzle. It's all about puzzle. For example, in the painting Stage 1, Blessing, I show in a child in a blessing pose with the two fingers. There is the arms of mother. It's the hands that restrict me from being outside of a system or perhaps creating this facade of protection and three windows symbolize three stages of my life when I was moving from one facility to another facility. Also, they conceal ideas of me never get home because you see wheels. So I'm traveling like a gypsy almost. I was given from one location to another. I have always waited for my mom. When I moved to another facility, I was around seven. One day I received a letter from my mom and my word changed. With this letter, I gained hope. I gained um, idea of belonging. I had idea that I'm not ruthless. And one day she came. I remember seeing women walking down a walkway, passing by our big group outside, and then she suddenly stopped. She looked at me among 30 other children, and she said, that's her. So that day when I met my mom for the very first time, we were allowed to be 
couple hours together. And our surroundings had this big gray walls. Everything looked gray to me living in Russia. But with her, I gained this first ray of light and my mind transformed with my hopes again. Then I saw her second time and I would imagine so many things I'm expressing today in my work through her letters, through her words. And there was another time then she didn't show up. When I learned with the time that she is not coming back, I understood that I'm back to you know, the same vision of mine that is very narrow again and very gray. Soon enough, I realized I was just belonging to a large group of kids who have very similar situation to me. In my work, you see often masked characters, partially because it's a metaphorical language for me to describe how I felt as a child. In my work, I use personal symbols. It's not necessary symbols that were recognized by others. And I want to compose some imagery that would become my diary, my visual evidence of my existence, of my past. I won't have a, something not fleeting anymore. I won't have something solid and permanent. And my paintings are this evidence that I'm treating like a family album, There's something I can pass on to my generation and something I can make statement with as an artist and individual. Something amazing for me as an artist happened, and it's really how I could vocalize through the brush something I couldn't say. It's something so personal and deeply traumatic was for me now liberated with this imagery and ideas and symbols that I can put on the surface and reach someone else's mind. And that's what strive me to gear up in the morning and put the signs, a color and splashes of ideas uh, to the surface. <laughs>